Let's talk instead about uh, a mystery interstellar object that was spotted by astronomers last week. It could be the oldest comet ever seen. It's the, only the third time that we've actually detected an object that has come from beyond our solar system. What if I told you that right now, as you're watching this video, there are objects from alien star systems passing through our solar system? And what if I told you that NASA caught one of them doing something absolutely bizarre? No, this isn't about UFOs or little green men. This is about something real that happened in 2019, and honestly, the truth is way cooler than any science fiction. Let's set the record straight first. While searching for information about 3i slash ATLAS, you might get confused because there's actually no confirmed object with exactly that designation. But here's where it gets interesting. There are two confirmed interstellar objects that have visited our solar system, and both of them revealed shocking surprises that nobody expected. The first was one I slash Oumuamua in 2017, and the second was two I slash Borisov in 2019. There's also been discussion about potential interstellar meteors and other candidates. What NASA's instruments captured while studying these objects, particularly Borisov, challenged fundamental assumptions about what exists in interstellar space. So what did they actually see? What made scientists stop in their tracks and reconsider decades of astronomical theory? Let's break this down step by step because the real story is absolutely mind-blowing. On August 30th, 2019, amateur astronomer Gennady Borisov was using his homemade telescope at the Margo Observatory in Crimea when he spotted something unusual. It was moving differently than anything he'd seen before. After reporting his findings, professional astronomers around the world turned their instruments toward this mysterious object. Within days, calculations confirmed what everyone suspected. This wasn't from our neighborhood. This was an interstellar comet, only the second confirmed visitor from beyond our solar system. They named it 2i slash Borisov, and it became one of the most studied objects in modern astronomy. NASA immediately mobilized multiple observation campaigns. The Hubble Space Telescope, ground-based observatories, and various other instruments were aimed at this cosmic traveler. Scientists had a limited window. Borisov was just passing through and they needed to gather as much data as possible before it disappeared back into the darkness of interstellar space. But here's where things get wild. As the data started coming in, scientists realized they were seeing something they absolutely weren't expecting. So what did NASA's cameras reveal? Let's talk about the actual verified discoveries that shocked the scientific community. Discovery number one, the fragmentation event. In March 2020, astronomers using Hubble noticed something extraordinary. Comet 2. I slash Borisov began to break apart. The nucleus, the solid core of the comet, started fragmenting. Now, comets breaking up isn't entirely unusual near the sun, but what made this special was what it revealed about the comet's composition and structure. The images showed a piece of the nucleus splitting off, and scientists could actually watch this happen in real time. This fragmentation allowed researchers to peer inside an interstellar object for the first time in human history. It was like the comet was opening itself up for examination. Discovery number two, the water composition shock. When NASA's instruments analyzed the water vapor coming off Borisov, they found something unexpected. The water had a different ratio of deuterium to hydrogen than what we typically see in solar system comets from certain regions. This told scientists that Borisov formed in a very different environment than our local comets. But here's the kicker. Some of the water chemistry was surprisingly similar to some of our own solar system's comets particularly those from the Oort cloud. This suggested that maybe, just maybe, the building blocks of solar systems aren't as unique as we thought. The same processes might be happening across the galaxy. Discovery number three, carbon monoxide levels off the charts. This is where things get really interesting. Spectroscopic analysis revealed that Borisov had extraordinarily high levels of carbon monoxide much higher than almost any comet observed in our solar system. 
We're talking about concentrations that were three to 10 times higher than typical solar system comets. What does this mean? It suggests that Borisov formed in an extremely cold region of its home star system, probably much farther from its parent star than even our Kuiper Belt objects are from the Sun. This comet came from a deep freeze environment we can barely imagine. Discovery number four, the dust and gas production mystery. As Hubble and other telescopes watched Borisov, they measured how much dust and gas it was producing as it warmed up near the sun. The rates were extraordinary. This comet was incredibly active, producing massive amounts of material compared to its size. Scientists calculated that Borisov was losing about 60 pounds of dust and gas only Every about half a mile across. That's absolutely remarkable. It was like watching a cosmic fire hose in action. Now, why does any of this matter? Why did these discoveries make headlines around the world? Let's break down what these findings actually mean for our understanding of the universe. The very existence of interstellar objects like Borisov and Umamua before it confirms something scientists suspected but couldn't prove. Planetary systems regularly eject objects into interstellar space. This means that planet formation is a messy, violent process across the galaxy, not just in our solar system. Based on the rate of interstellar object discoveries, even with our limited detection capabilities, scientists estimate that there could be trillions upon trillions of these wanderers drifting through the galaxy. Some estimates suggest there might be more interstellar objects than stars in the Milky Way. Think about that for a second. The space between stars isn't empty. It's actually filled with cosmic refugees from planetary systems across the galaxy. This is huge. Before interstellar objects, if we wanted to study other star systems, we had to rely on telescopes looking at distant points of light. We could analyze starlight, look for exoplanets, but we couldn't directly sample material from those systems. Borisov changed that. Scientists were literally analyzing material from another star system, using instruments here on Earth and in Earth orbit. They could measure its composition, study its structure, and learn about the conditions where it formed. It's like the universe delivered a sample return mission to our doorstep. The organic compounds and water found in Borisov have profound implications for astrobiology. If comets from other star systems contain similar building blocks of life as our own solar system's comets, it suggests that the chemical ingredients for life might be common throughout the galaxy. Some scientists have theorized that comets might have delivered water and organic compounds to early Earth, potentially contributing to the emergence of life. If interstellar comets carry similar materials, they could be seeding planets across the galaxy with life's building blocks. Let's talk about how NASA and other space agencies actually captured these discoveries. The technology involved is absolutely cutting edge. Hubble Space Telescope. The Hubble was crucial for observing Borisov. Its high resolution cameras could track the comet's movement, capture detailed images of its fragmentation, and measure subtle changes in its brightness and structure. Hubble made multiple observations over several months, building up a comprehensive picture of this interstellar visitor. Ground-based spectroscopy observatories around the world use spectroscopy to analyze the light from Borisov. When sunlight reflects off a comet or passes through its gas and dust, it creates a unique signature, like a fingerprint, that reveals what chemicals are present. This is how scientists discovered the unusual carbon monoxide levels and water composition. Radio telescopes. Radio telescopes like ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, in Chile were used to detect molecules that are difficult to see in visible light. These observations helped scientists understand the comet's chemical composition in even greater detail. We can't talk about interstellar objects without mentioning Oumuamua, the first confirmed interstellar visitor discovered in 2017. And here's where things get even more interesting. Oumuamua and Borisov were completely different from each other. Oumuamua was weird. It was shaped like a cigar or pancake, showed no signs of a cometary tail, yet accelerated as it left the solar system in a way that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. 
Scientists still debate what exactly Umamua was. Some think it was a fragment of a destroyed planet. Others suggest it was an unusual comet. And yes, a few have proposed more exotic explanations. Borisov, on the other hand, looked and behaved exactly like a comet. It had a tail, it produced gas and dust, and it acted predictably. In a way, this was both reassuring and revealing. It showed that while interstellar objects come in varieties, just like solar system objects, the basic physics of comets seems to work the same way everywhere. The fact that the first two confirmed interstellar objects were so different from each other tells us that there's an incredible diversity of objects wandering between the stars. We're literally just beginning to sample this hidden population. So, what specifically caught NASA off guard? What were the surprises that scientists really weren't supposed to see? Borisov appeared to be incredibly pristine, meaning it hadn't been significantly altered since it formed billions of years ago. Most solar system comets have been modified by heat, radiation, and gravitational interactions of its original composition from its birth star system. This was unexpected because scientists assumed that interstellar radiation and cosmic rays would have altered the surface of an object traveling through space for millions or billions of years. But Borisov's activity and composition suggested it was remarkably well-preserved. Here's a paradox. Borisov was simultaneously familiar and alien. It looked like a comet, acted like a comet, but its extreme carbon monoxide levels and other compositional details marked it as definitely not from around here. This challenged the assumption that comets from other star systems would be radically different from our own. The fact that Borisov fragmented while passing through our solar system was extraordinarily lucky from a scientific perspective. This wasn't supposed to happen, or at least the odds of astronomers witnessing it were incredibly low. Yet it did, giving scientists an unprecedented look inside an interstellar object. Current estimates suggest that at any given time there might be several interstellar objects passing through the inner solar system. We just haven't been able to spot them yet because they're faint and move quickly. NASA and other space agencies are now developing strategies for how to study future interstellar visitors. Some scientists have even proposed concepts for rapid response missions that could launch quickly to intercept and study an interstellar object in detail, perhaps even landing on one. Imagine that, sending a spacecraft to actually touch and sample an object from another star system. That's not science fiction anymore, it's serious mission planning. So what did NASA's cameras catch while studying interstellar visitors that they weren't supposed to? They caught a glimpse of the true nature of our galaxy, a place far more connected and dynamic than we imagined. They saw that the space between stars is filled with wanderers carrying tales of distant planetary systems. They discovered that the chemistry of the universe might be more uniform than we thought, with implications for life itself. The discoveries from 2i slash Borisov showed us that every star system sheds material into space, that comets from across the galaxy share some common features while remaining unique, and that we're living in a cosmic shooting gallery where objects from other stellar neighborhoods regularly pass through our own. The truth is actually more fascinating than any fiction. We don't need to make up stories about alien spacecraft or mysterious signals. The real discoveries of comets from other stars, carrying pristine materials from alien planetary systems, fragmenting before our eyes and revealing their secrets are extraordinary enough. As technology improves and we discover more of these visitors, each one will teach us something new about the galaxy we live in. Who knows what the next interstellar visitor will reveal? What unexpected discoveries are waiting in the data we've yet to analyze? What do you think about these discoveries? Does it blow your mind that we're essentially sampling other star systems without leaving our own? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this fascinating, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. We're living in an incredible era of discovery, and there's so much more to explore. So much more to explore. So much more to